Hello and let's talk about sportspersons in the ongoing farmers' protests. A few hours ago, sportspersons decided to march to the Rashtrapati Bhavan to return the awards they had received. Among those marching were medal winners at Asian Games and Arjuna awardees. The sportspersons have declared support for the ongoing farmers' protests which began on November 26th. And the persons who were marching today were not alone. There are many more in Punjab, Haryana and Punjab and Haryana especially who have said that they stand by the farmers and they are unhappy with the way the government has responded to the farmers' protests. Now, this is a very interesting trend and we talked to Leslie Xavier of NewsClick who talked about the sportspersons who are protesting, who are these people who are protesting right now, who are these people who are in solidarity with the farmers. And he also talks about the deep connection sports in India has with agriculture. And this is especially true in sports such as boxing, wrestling and hockey. So, here is what Leslie had to say. Thank you, Leslie, for joining us. So we know that the farmers' protest has been going on for many days. Farmers are very determined that they won't go back unless the demands are met. They have made this very same clear to the government as well. An interesting aspect of these protests has been that it has received a large amount of support from uh, a wide variety of sectors, of course. We saw uh, from uh, popular culture sector for the music sector, definitely, but also sportspersons who have come out in considerable numbers and uh, said, uh, talked about these issues, talked about returning their awards even. So before we get into some of the, uh, you know, complex equations between sport and agriculture, especially in that part of India, it's the Punjab, Haryana regions, could you maybe take us through the careers of some of these sports persons who are right now extending solidarity to the protesters? Uh, it's, it's, it's great to see that uh, some of our greatest sports persons, uh, some of the greatest sports persons India have ever produced uh, are out there supporting the farmers in their struggle and uh, uh, so but when there is also a i mean narrative behind them being part of this but before that i would like to uh, I mean, explain to who they are because for the for the for the current lot there is a i mean there should be a larger understanding of history of indian sport to understand where they come from who they are and these athletes are extraordinary athletes who have, who have come forward in support of, of, of uh, the farmers by, by actually giving away the, uh, the awards, which is the, uh, what do you call that, some total of their entire effort in the field that they were part of. Wrestlers, basketball players, hockey players, weightlifters. So we are talking about a wide range of Indian athletes. I mean, at least who have represented India at various international stages, including the Olympics. So uh, let's let's just start with boxing because Punjab was synonymous with boxing at that stage before Ariana came into prominence in the uh, latter stage of the 90s and continues even now. So uh, I mean, uh, three four legendary boxers from Punjab have, have gotten into uh, this uh, prominent being Kaur Singh, who was a gold medalist in 1982. Olympics, uh, sorry, 1982 Asian Games in Delhi, and uh, he was an Arjuna Award recipient of the same year. And the next year, he won. The, he was conferred the Padma Shri, and he is is uh, he's traveled with the uh, he is at the Singur border and uh, is uh, uh, planning to. In fact, today is uh, is part of a contingent of some some athletes who are planning to go to the. Uh, I mean get an appointment with the president and hand over the awards or or symbolically place the awards at the wherever they could exactly place it so uh coursing uh, he was an army man uh he, he started his boxing career much before that and then his boxing helped him get a land a army job in the 1970s and before that and he was very clear while talking to media persons about about why he started so before that uh, he was saying his his boxing career or wherever he that that career took him. Uh, it started off by his father providing him meals via farming from exactly. their farm, which, exactly. which made the made him the boxer mm -hmm. that he is. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Jaipal Singh, who is an Asian silver medalist, uh, again a boxer. And uh, both Kaur Singh and uh, Jaipal Singh have retired and got gotten back to their roots. Uh, Jaipal being from Roop Rohira in Sangrur district of Punjab, and Kaur Singh is from Kanal Kud in Punjab Sangur again. So they have small farmlands which they which they cultivate and uh, I mean so it's it's there is a direct link for these two. We have uh, others of course Vijendra Singh today has has come come out and hmm. he has said that he would give away his uh, he would return his 
Kale Ratna, which he won in 2019, in 2009 after he won the Olympic bronze medalist. Mm-hmm. And Vijender Singh, again, so Vijender's uh, stance is, is very, because he, is, is, he can be considered a contemporary athlete because he is still active in, in, a, in a very little way, but he is still active. But he is also connected with all the current athletes. So he came out in the media and he said that, I represent a lot of my brothers and sisters, sister athletes in, in Haryana who want to express their solidarity, but they are worried because they have current government jobs. And, right. and so Vijinder is there, B.S. Sandhu, legendary Indian boxing coach, who, who, under whom a lot of Indian boxers came into prominence, including Vijinder and that entire generation of boxers, Mary Com included. So, and then from the wrestling, you have Kartar Singh, who was, I mean, who retired as a uh, senior police officer in, mm-hmm. in uh, Punjab police. But uh, before that, I mean, he hailed from a farming family. As a wrestler, he won two gold medalists at the Asian Games in the 80s. Right. Right. In fact, his gold medal that he won in the Seoul Asian Games in 1986. Uh, after that, uh, we had to wait till 2014 for uh, Yogeshwar that to win a gold medal. So that mm-hmm. that's the kind of stature that he had as a uh, while he was a wrestler. In right. fact, he was a he is a world medalist, world gold medalist in 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 the Masters category mm-hmm. also in wrestling. A great wrestler of his days, and Kardar has been very vocal in organizing this this group of 38 athletes whose awards they have carried. So not all of them could travel because many of them are old and ailing and in this current situation, they couldn't travel. So uh, the, uh, they, they have uh, a few of them who have traveled, they have carried their awards as well and plus their message, uh, the message of solidarity as to why they, I mean, uh, why they are doing this, what they stand for and what the farmers stand for, the larger picture, the larger fight that is, that is, uh, Though we, I mean, people who live in the city, they they just feel that they are they they are not connected with this struggle. If they are feeling that they are not connected with this struggle, it is just a matter of time before things things reach you because uh, we are talking about the food providers for the country. Precisely, precisely. Absolutely, it's very interesting. You uh, explained and laid out all these careers for us because. Many of these uh, sports persons, they made their mark before the time of great media coverage, before the time of independent leagues and all that. So uh, the awards were basically, in some senses, uh, like you said, a recognition, even in t- even when there was maybe not so much financial security. Of course, some of them had government jobs, but many of them, for many of them, the awards were probably the pinnacle of their post sports person, post career uh, recognition, so to speak. So that way it is interesting that so many of them have come out into the protest. But Leslie, I wanted to take you to another aspect as well, something we touched upon a bit earlier, which is the kind of connection that uh, sport and agriculture have for that matter, in the sense that you mentioned one or two instances of sports persons with very deep roots in agriculture. Uh, those who are connected, those whose families are still in it, those who still are involved in agriculture. So in that sense, this, pro- this protest and the involvement of the sports persons is also a very, for lack of a better word, a very organic link. Because uh, it, this is not, this is not say a cause which people are just, it's something connected in some senses to their bread and butter and to their community as well. Uh, so that, that's all, uh, I mean, so before I get into the, uh, the main aspect of your question, I would just again elaborate a little on the connection that these athletes have for the award because we have seen when the award season comes in August. In fact, we had touched that in one of our Let's Talk discussions as well. A lot of athletes fight for it, saying that we deserve it, we didn't get it, we were not considered. Because it's 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 not just about the tag Arjuna Award or the Zona Terry Award, but it's also the honor that comes with it because it's it's considered and it's still considered as an ultimate ultimate tag that a sports person could get in India, which, which of course, perks, whatever train tickets or uh, I mean, uh, additional benefits when you when you have something to do with in government offices or whatever that comes with it. But uh, the pride, the the also it's 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 like an underscore of whatever you have done in, in your sporting career. So, so for them to part with that award, which they have given everything, it's it's a big deal. And so 
when people uh, i mean there have been narratives that have been spun where they are trying to civilize or brush aside this i mean hashtag by what award wapasi gang or whatever it's called it's 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 trivializing not just their uh, gesture but it's also tri- trying to trivialize the farmers protest because that's a that's a narrative that's been spun by people who are against it, the people in power obviously so uh, for them i mean it's it uh, i would like to present this case that this is this is larger than what they what they are trivializing it's it's they don't understand the meaning of of this gesture and now getting into uh, what you mentioned so there was this interesting thing many athletes have come out on social media current athletes and messaged solidarity and support uh, so one of the athletes was uh, world number one wrestler bajrang punia who is current india's best wrestler at this moment and punia uh, earlier have more or less uh, been a, i mean uh, his tweets his social, social media presence have all revolved around supporting the government in fact you i mean many of these at least do they have copy pasted sports ministry messages um, about projects things like that so uh, and to see punia come out and uh, suddenly i saw this tweet that uh, he is calling farmers our brothers and i stand in support with them we should win this win this struggle uh, it it's it's heartening to see and also it it also points out where he comes from because punia's career if you look at it it he, he comes from a very poor family in haryana he farming i mean uh, and they don't even own the land so they were they were tillers of the land uh, which they don't own and so uh, from there wrestling took him out of that poverty out of that obscurity and he has reached wherever he is now but he has not forgotten the roots and that's what all these athletes have also they have not forgotten the roots and if you look at india's sporting history and i would give a roundabout uh, number as such but more than 80% of indian athlete, athletes who come out uh, who represent india at the olympics or at the grandest of stages they are all from rural background and not everybody is of course uh, from a farming family or farmers family but Uh, if you look at the rural setup in india we all know that uh, i mean some uh, livelihoods are connected with with with, with the ag- agrarian economy right. so so some of them would be laborers some of them would be uh, like i said non land owners who are tilling the soil some of them would be people who transport this produce to the market the mandi uh, so again so that that uh, the one of the struggles is to actually uphold that mandi system right, that, right. that that this this new, new roles uh, new laws will take out so uh, i would again uh, i mean when when i'm talking this i would i just got reminded about uh, legendary indian weightlifter tara singh who has also sent across his arjuna award uh, with with uh, uh, kartar singh and the and the and the athletes who are there <laughs> who, are, who have traveled to delhi so uh, tara singh one is uh, uh, two bronze medals at the 82 asian games and he was the first indian weightlifter to lift above 200 kg in clean and jerk uh, i mean uh, and one of the best weightlifters india has ever produced he, he was quoted again in the media he, he was telling how, how he is surviving on a 600 rupees pension now plus the four acres of land that he has in pagwara mm-hmm. which is which he uses to till so he he mentioned a lot of things about uh, about this laws which 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 he has a direct grouse against which will right. directly impact him and is okay. uh, i mean he is he, he has had two surgeries on his knee knee replacement because of his sporting career and he is surviving on that farm and the meag pension that that the government is providing him so uh, again that's a direct connection that we are we are talking about so every athlete who has come out and spoken about it as a direct or indirect connection connection with the struggle because they understand it closely because they come from from that background so india's sporting culture is intrinsically intrinsically connected to to villages and via villages with 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 the farming community so uh, uh, we have said this earlier also how sports persons are uh, inert about a lot of social and political issues that happen across the country because they just simply don't step in because of the repercussions that they are worried about right but 
they have come out now so that that itself is an indication of how much connect that they have with the struggle that is ongoing and what it means to them and what it means to and so uh, a victory year is probably necessary for uh, not just for the indian uh, farming uh, community and uh, the farming economy and the farmers and agriculture sector as a whole but also and uh, but also possibly to indian sport because that link is there next line of sports persons will come from the villages more or less absolutely. so absolutely right thank you so much let's be talking to us that's all we have time for today we'll be back tomorrow with more news from india across the world until then keep watching news click